Yo, 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 yo. I'm gonna be giving you tips and things you need to know if you actually really want to build a house. Things you need to consider, materials or choices that you might need to also know when you want to build. Don't just build because some other person did it this way. You need to know why and the need for that to be done. See, most people run into the problem of uh, uh, meeting, let me put it, meeting quacks. You would say, who are the quacks? Yeah, a, a quack, generally we know that the, the people who are who disguise themselves to be a particular, to be what they are not. And uh, in the, the practice of architecture, you find a client come to you, and I'm talking to you now, you that client, I'm talking to you and you know yourself. The hurry of, I want to know how much it will cost. I want to know how much it will cost without not even knowing what you want to build is going to land you in the danger of meeting that quack because you are hasty you do not want to pay for planning you don't want to pay for the idea that someone is going to generate for you but you are ready to pay for cement you are ready to pay for sand you are ready to pay for chippings come on you are you are actually the one preparing your way to be to be I don't know to be to be cheated so I would always advise as I always advise my clients when you want to build who do you seek seek for the one who has the master plan the one who sees what who can read your mind who can bring out that thing you could not see and who is that person? You may answer that in a way, but I want to tell you categorically that that person who is so much equipped with imaginative tendencies, creative abilities, and uh, skills of reading your emotions, psychological perceptions, that person is an architect. He has a a paramount role in the design and build of that particular house that you want. Just imagine you want to build a house. Yeah, I want. Uh, well, you, you, you tell your client. You tell your your friend. I want. Uh, I want a five room. Yes, and the friend tells you, oh, I know somebody who can do it. And let me let me just uh, tell you. And they go and bring. The person who used to lay blocks and you tell the person to give you five rooms you know what you have just done to yourself you at the end of the day you break a lot of things because that person does not know what they call flow he doesn't know how to end why you should enter from a particular point imagine a space i think in subsequent videos i'm going to show you a lot of illustrations and diagrams that can illustrate what i'm saying Draw, just have a box and you draw a diagonal line across the box. What's that? You only have a tri two triangles put together, right? And if you have two triangles, the effective space that you have in that space is quite small. But you have a box that's a square and you draw a straight line parallel to one of the edges, which I classify that straight line as circulation. You still have the remaining part of the box remaining i will illustrate but not in this video so if somebody has this ability and has been trained to do this that's the person you speak to that's the person you pay the money to you will go and buy uh, how many bags of cement let's just imagine 100 bags of cement today is about uh, how much 500,000 naira and you you buy the hundred bags to so one block and just keep what would you use that block to do you don't even know where to start from and somebody will advise you uh, more five inches block more six inches solid block and you want to build a story building and you do not know that there is relativity of slenderness of a of, 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 of a 
what they call it, of a surface or a structure. If a structure is slender, it is going to uh, have so much load by the sides. But if it is sturdy, you see, when the, when the load comes from the side, it has resistance to it. You may not understand this, but the engineers understand what I'm talking about. So, you, how, how can you do a story building and you start a foundation of a story building with a 6 inch solid block? Let me tell you what you do not even know, which I will break down in subsequent videos. If you use a solid block for any reason, for any kind of construction, what you are going to encounter, you will spend more money to protect that building from penetration of uh, moist. Let me give you an instance. If you have a solid block and rain beats that block, it will absorb the moisture. And as it absorbs it, it will, you will see the absorption in the inside. That means if the rain beats it from the outside, you will feel the absorption from the inside. That is clearly uh, uh, an act of ignorance. Because if you have used a hollow block and uh, rain beats the outside, there is a hole in the middle. It will penetrate inside. And once sun shines, it dries up. But you see the other one, it will not dry soon. Meaning that it will begin to have effect on your paint. And your paint will peel. And that is deterioration. So you have higher maintenance cost. You will be maintaining that building periodically because you want it to keep looking, having the face. Or maybe you now end up saying, let me tile the wall. And that is another huge cost on top of it. You might say, let me use a local bond to clad the wall. That is another huge cost. Do you get the point? Because this is something you would have solved by design. Okay, so in summary, why I'm giving you all, all these tips is that you need to watch this channel and you need to pay more attention to the things I will be telling you because this channel out of passion, out of motivation that I've craved. How do I give back knowledge? All that is in my head. How do I give it back? I said, let me put it in this channel so that whenever you search for this, search for solutions you come back watch my videos if you have problems feel free to tell me and uh, i will do videos to solve those problems for you what else do i have if not to contribute to this society so for now i want to say thank you for signing up to my channel and if you have not subscribed or rather you're just viewing and you're not supposed to subscribe please hit the subscription button the bell button as well so that you will get notifications whenever i start or my videos are being uploaded and above all share it share it with your friends share it with them and tell more people about it so that we can cop this menace of collapse deterioration misinformation cheats and uh, patronage of quackery now I'm just going to say bye for now.